If you live on the water, you may be affected by a new city ordinance. Check this out. A proposed City of Fort Lauderdale ordinance would change the minimum top elevation for new seawalls from approximately 3.9 feet to 5 feet if passed later this month. I think the first question that a property owner asks whenever we're changing the ordinances is to say, well, I have to raise my seawall. And the answer to that question, generally speaking, is probably not. Assistant Director of Public Works Sustainability for the city, Dr. Nancy Gassman, tells us the ordinance would only impact property owners in certain cases. Unless you're building a brand new seawall or your seawall is in disrepair and tidal flows are coming over it on a regular basis, you probably will not have to raise your seawall. It's already standard for the city's code enforcement officers to be on the lookout for problematic seawalls, according to Development Services Department Director Chris Cooper. When the city is doing inspections for seawalls, we're going to look at two big things. The first is whether or not water is coming over or around that seawall in a way that impacts city property like right-of-way or swales and streets. We're also going to look and see if it impacts a neighboring property. Aside from that, we're going to look at the actual construction of the seawall, if there's pilings that are missing or leaning or out of place or panels that are, have deteriorated if a new seawall needs to be installed or an existing one elevated, a permit is required. Here's what Cooper recommends. So the most important thing about the permitting process is for the homeowner to be informed and educated about what is involved in the process as well as what we're looking for from, from the city's perspective. So our city has a lot of great resources on our website and our staff is always ready and willing to help answer any questions anyone might have. The proposed elevation change is part of a broader effort to keep our city strong and protected now and in years to come. The city will need to take a lot of actions to make sure that we are a more resilient community and one of those actions is to ensure that our 165 miles of waterway have seawalls that are protective out into the future to deal with sea level rise. For more information you can go to fortlauderdale.gov. I'm Arlene Bornstein and we are FTL.